Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is on his first official visit to Singapore, where the two sides are working to promote free trade and regional stability. Li and Singaporean Prime Minister Li Xianlong saw the signing of a series of agreements on bilateral cooperation, including an upgrade for the China-Singapore Free Trade Agreement. The upgraded pact includes the Belt and Road Initiative for the first time ever, which will bring bilateral cooperative partnerships to a new high. The two countries are also pledged to advance building the New Land Sea Corridor, a passage that will help China to further open up, as well as open a shortcut for Southeast Asian countries to enter the Chinese market. Moreover, three government-to-government -government projects are underway to improve connectivity, namely the Suzhou Industrial Park, the Tianjin Eco City, and the Chongqing Connectivity Initiative. In an effort to accelerate cooperation in terms of innovation, the two countries have lifted the Sino-Singapore Guangzhou Knowledge City to a national-level project. More plans to enhance technological innovation, high-end manufacturing, and intellectual property rights protection will be mapped out. On his trip, Li will attend the 21st Leaders' Meeting between China and the Association of the Southeast Asian Nations in Singapore, which holds the rotating ASEAN Chairmanship this year. In his talks, Li stressed China's support for the centrality of the ASEAN in regional cooperation. He called on all relevant sides to clinch the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, a deal that aims to preserve free trade and economic globalization. With the WTO playing a central role, the deal, once agreed upon, could cover more than one-third of the world's GDP. Both China and Singapore have shown their resolve to safeguard the global system of free trade. As Premier Li said in a signed article, openness must be upheld as it is not just a means to an end, but a tenet in its own right. Together, we should work for an open world economy by advocating, practicing, and upholding openness.